Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In this video today we are going to show you how to do an oil change on a Fiat 500. This one is the 1.4 engine non-turbocharges, the regular not a part engine. So stay with us how to do that, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like, we upload a new video every day. Ok guys, don't forget to stay with us until the end, we have uh, like good advice and tips how to avoid costly repairs after an oil change. Oh okay guys, first thing that you need to do, all you need to do, you need to jack the car up on this side and put a jack stand and one on the other side as well. Always put jack stands, don't re just don't rely on the jack itself. And if it's winter time, it's cold, it's good to let the car run 5 minutes before we do the oil change because the oil will be too thick and it will not come out as good as if it's if it was a hot oil that will come out of there. There is a possibility again, you know, just to be warmer but be careful and that's the best oil change that you can do. So now we need a 10 mm socket and a ratchet and there is six, okay right there there is six bolts that we need to remove to remove the engine cover on the bottom of the car. One right there, one in the bottom there, one on the side right there, one on the back, another one here in the back and just start removing them. All together it should be six bolts with that millimeter socket. Okay, the second one there. And now this is the last one that we need to do right here. And as you can see the whole cover came right off. So if you need to wash it or something that's the time to do it now. And as you can see the whole pork is located right there. Okay guys now with a 13 millimeter wrench. You just take off the oil plug all the way, make sure you have something to catch the oil with because it's always going to make a mess. It doesn't hold much oil so it won't be too much. You need to make sure that it's going to take about a gallon. Okay and just let it drain good. Okay we're ready to put the oil plug back on now. Now it's the time to get that thing tight. Okay don't leave it for later. If you leave it for later you might forget. And if you forget you're going to eventually lose your plug, run out of oil. If you don't notice on time, you're going to ruin the engine. So avoid mistakes like that, that could cost you thousands of dollars. Okay guys, what you need now, you need to open the hood. And right here, it's where the oil filter is located. And it's the one that you replace only the filter insert. It's the paper insert. And what you need, American size, it's one inch and one sixteenth, I think. Uh, metric, it's like 27 millimeter. And now we need to go to that hole with a long extension, okay, like that. And you can get on the filter that way, and that way you can take it off. Otherwise, it's impossible to take that thing off. They get tight pretty good from over time. And just unscrew it until you feel the lid freely spinning, okay. And it might make a mess, so you need to leave a container on the bottom. Okay, now we are ready just to remove the tool, get the socket out of the way and you can grab it with your hand, again if you end the engine just be careful not to get burned because the exhaust is right here next to it so be very careful there not to cause any damage to your fingers. Okay, now you just grab it, it's really really tight fit, that thing is too small, not enough room. Get it out, you make a little bit of a mess, that's normal. Okay, and this is the filter that came out of there. So now what you need to do, you need to just grab the cap and pull it out. It comes out like that. Okay, this is the new filter. We use the one made by Wix 57341. And right here, this is the filter itself, made in Poland. And this is the seal, so it comes with a new seal, so you need to take the old seal off the cap. It's good to do that because otherwise they might crack over time and you leak oil, eventually run out of oil or oil pressure and damage the engine. So the new seal, you just need to go right there in the groove. Once we install it, I'll show you exactly where it needs to be. Okay, let's show you. Now what you need to do, get some oil and apply on the new seal. That way it will not get stuck and it will be easy to remove for the next oil change. Now you need to make sure that the filter goes with those things towards the cap and you push it in until it clicks and it cannot come out of there. And now all you need to do is just install it back on the oil filter housing right there. 
Okay, just start it by hand, make a few revolutions, make sure it's there good so you don't cross thread it. And now <laughs> you need to go through that hole right there. That's pretty good design thinking about it. And just go ahead and get it tight. Do not get it too tight, not to crack the plastic cover, the plastic lid for the filter. Okay, let me show you how much we're going to put on it. Okay, I like that. That's it. That, that's good, guys. Okay, now you can go ahead and install the engine cover. You don't need to work under the vehicle anymore. Okay, guys, now we need to let the, the car on the ground. Not to be in the air because we need to add the oil and we need to measure it correctly. And it needs to be leveled for that purpose. What we need to do, Fiat recommends 5W30 API certified oil. So today we will be adding Castro. Okay, this is it right here, Castro 5W30. And the car takes engine oil with filter right here, turbo and non-turbo engine. It says 4 quarts or 4 liters, which is approximately 4 quarts. For the turbo, they recommend full synthetic oil. For the regular engine, it's not required full synthetic oil. So now we can just go ahead and add 4 quarts. That jack, some of the jacks are 4 quarts, some are 5. So if it's a 5, you need to stop and not add all of it. Okay, we're done. We added 4 quarts exactly. So what do we need to do now? Just pull the funnel out of there, not to make a mess. And again, install that cap. Not to forget it because it's, you might run out of oil again and cause engine damage. So, three things not, never to forget. The oil plug, the oil filter and that cap. Always get them tight. So now what we need to do, we need to go ahead inside the vehicle and start it for about a minute. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and start it. Okay, now we turn it off and let it stay for about a minute so the oil gets down to the oil pan. You pull the dipstick out, wipe it and then put it in again to see how much oil exactly we have. It needs to be between minimum and maximum, never exceed. Okay, right here, right on maximum, never exceed the maximum because if you do, you might damage the catalytic converter because too much oil will burn through the exhaust and will damage the converters. So this is the whole procedure guys, thank you for watching us, don't forget to subscribe, we also have the video on our channel how to reset the engine oil light inside your car, thank you for watching us.